Okay, I got the machine closed back up and the ball is in it. First thing I need to do is start it and make sure that I haven't goofed any switch up to make sure that it's going to be running non-stop or something like that. So, start button on this machine is right here. Alright, nothing scored. Didn't hear the chime go ding. Oh, flicker and bulb there is driving me nuts. Yeah, nothing went ding. Um, nothing's sitting there running perpetually. It's, it's running normal. So I didn't screw anything up. Now, again, I can hand actuate these and things will work perfect. The problem comes when I when the ball is what's actuating it. So we already went through and uh, I sensitized all of these, making them as sensitive as I could. And that seemed to help, but it isn't the ticket. So let's see what this does. So I hit that, you see that light is out. It actually didn't even switch lights. That is on. Rocket came on. Let's see how the second one did. Okay. So we got the light to switch, but no R. And up here on this one, that one worked. Let's try this lit one here, uh, which is that one in the middle. That is a relay that I did not mess with did not light. So let me drain just to get these all relit. Get the ball. And I'm going to leave the camera pointed at the lights here. Make sure this is zoomed out all the way. Leave the camera pointed at the lights and I'm going to throw the ball at the mushroom here. So. Alright, so again, I hit that mushroom bumper, the light went out scored points, and this light lit, as it should. Pause this and kill my dogs. Okay, now that there are dead dog bodies laying everywhere. Just kidding. Uh, light went out, points scored, light lit, and no letter. Let me try this one. Same thing. Actually, while the ball was bouncing around, all three hit, all three changed, all three scored, no lights lit. So, just to cycle through this a little bit to show you a couple other things, I'll trigger it by hand. You have the gate opening, and it works properly. It only opens when the flippers are open. If I close the flippers, that light goes out. If I open the flippers by hitting the yellow mushroom bumper, it lights. If we go up and we light the E, and we Open the flippers when the flippers are closed. And remember, we get no extra bonuses. That's our big bonus that we have cooking at the moment. Flippers are closed. If we open them, now we see that this is also lit. So the gate works here. If I drop the ball down, it scores points and close. If the ball comes down here, it kicks it back out as it should. So those all work. And those are all controlled on the stepper that controls, the, that lights all of these lights. And so I really don't think that stepper is the problem. I've been all through it and I really know steppers of that type. And that is not the problem. Not really sure where the problem is yet, but here's my suspicion, <clears throat> which is it's a combination of things. I think that this switch on this bumper, the switch on the relay that I was messing with, and then the switch on another relay down underneath over in this area, they all have to make contact at exactly the same time and for a certain amount of time, long enough for them all to register. And if any one of those three is off by just a little bit, it doesn't complete the circuit. So something in that is the problem. I'm almost certain that is my problem. Um, and I could be wrong, but I have looked all through this, I've been all over the schematics, and that is the only thing that I can come up with at that point. So, I'm gonna, gonna show you some rust removal now. So I talked about this stuff just a little bit in the previous video, and I just can't say enough how much I love it. Um, you know, before I found this stuff, the only way I had to get rid of rust really in a, any sort of effective manner was the ever-loving steel wool. And the problem with steel wool, as anyone knows, is 
bits and pieces fall off and that's really bad on anything inside the machine you don't go anywhere near the inside of the machine with steel wool don't go anywhere near anything that goes inside of the machine with steel wool bad bad stuff so um, on this I've been using this and I want you to see here's kind of what we started with or what I started with and it's pretty rusty but as you come across look at that so briefly I'm going to show a little wipey wipe with some of this stuff because it rocks um, so I'm just putting a little bit on a rag here it's a dry rag and you see it's actually very little that I put on there and I don't have this propped up very well and just by wiping it you can see you know that's that's all rust you know that's what it's taken off of there that's just totally rust in color and it's nasty uh, let me hit it one more time clean spot on my rag here. Just a little bit more. And I'm going to hit this spot one more time. And, you know, it's difficult for me to do it at this angle. You see I don't have it held very well. I'm trying to hold the camera and the do this at the same time, but I mean, look at that. And that's just wiping it. That's no real effort either. So, uh, I really like this stuff. Highly recommend it. It's also sp supposed to seal it up in some way or another to help keep it from rusting again. So it's a clean polish and wax all in one application. And it is non-toxic so good stuff it's not harsh on your hands uh, gotta love it all right everybody uh, that's all I'm gonna say on this one right now I will make one more video that I'll post separately just of gameplay with it in its current condition and uh, that's just for a buddy of mine that wanted to see